Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis, Port Aransas, 9 a.m. The sun was supposed to be out according to the weather report, but it's uh, hazy, hazy for being so lonely. Dolphin, a couple dolphins out there swimming around. Yeah, it's hazy. They say uh, the sun will come out at 11 now, so we can uh, boondock around here and uh, catch some uh, sunshine in a few hours. Happy Cinco de Mayo, all. All my uh, Mexican brothers and sisters know that Cinco de Mayo celebrates the anniversary of the Mexican army over the French Empire, May the 5th, 1862, at the Battle of Puebla. Uh, all my white brothers and sisters will know that uh, Cinco de Mayo is the day we go to Chili's and drink margaritas. We all have our own thing. Uh, the hero of uh, the Battle of Pueblo was uh, Ignis, uh, Ignacio Zaragoza. I have to say the full name all at once. But if you guys remember when we were up in Goliad, that's where uh, he's from. He was born up in uh, Goliad about an hour from here. And uh, we got to visit his childhood home, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Just uh, checking out the ships at Port Aransas. We're going to head over to the beach in a little bit. We're at uh, Roberts Point Park. There's always some type of construction that they're building, uh, building, repairing some uh, docks on the other side of the little channel here. It's always neat just to come over here. There's usually something going on. Uh, not much of a wind today. Might might be a little different when we get to the beach side, but just a good breeze. It's warm. It's like 77 degrees already. Humidity's 91 percent. Yeah. There's some music going on in the background. Hey, uh, do you guys know who my favorite Mexican country singer is? Ariba McIntyre. <laughs> that's a cool boat, man. I bet you that's easy to spot, huh? <laughs> that is pretty neat. Oh, they even got the engine uh, covers to match outboards yeah that's pretty neat there's some huge uh, private fishing boats here but there's only one pirate ship that's the red dragon guys you can look them up online or on facebook they go out for cruises a couple times a day they have the pirate uh, reenactors pretty good stuff hey my friend peggy good morning you ready roll my intro You know, guys, I was heading to the beach, and it occurred to me, I have never been down this road before, and I heard these lovely birds just going absolutely crazy. That is a nice birdhouse, and uh, thought I would just go check out this neighborhood just real quick. Again, guys, we're uh, Port Aransas, Texas. Uh, this area has such an awesome history. Uh, the Karankawa Indians roamed this area for centuries. Uh, they called it uh, Wild Horse Island, and it later became uh, Mustang Island. Uh, in the 1500s, the Spanish arrived. In the 1700s, the uh, French arrived. In uh, the early 1800s, the pirates arrived. Uh, Jean Lafitte uh, is known to have used this as a hiding spot and uh, allegedly to bury treasure from time to time. This uh, entire area is rich in legit pirate history. So uh, that's pretty cool. If, if you're into that, Google it and uh, believe anything that you don't read on Wikipedia. <laughs> the first uh, Anglo-Saxon settlement. I love that. Anglo-Saxon. Marvel Comics, Iron Man, The Hulk. Anglo-Saxon. Sounds like the arch enemy, which in a lot of ways uh, he was. 
uh, first uh, established a residence here in uh, 1853, and that was a uh, cattle and uh, sheep ranch. Hold on, guys. I'm a little boy at heart, and I see a big Tonka truck in front of me doing stuff. That's pretty neat, just picking up loose debris. That's got to be a fun job. Man, you got to be so careful of uh, telephone wires and everything else. Hope I wasn't holding him up. It's an interesting street. There's a lot of empty lots where you could tell there was buildings. So I'm wondering uh, if Hurricane Harvey kind of did a number on this uh, particular area. This is one of the first landfalls right through here of when Hurricane Harvey hit in uh, what? 2017, August 25th, 2017. I think I would remember that date. That's coming up on four years and I've, I'm driving by buildings that are still damaged and uh, places in Rockport that were still damaged. Let's uh, head out to the beach. I was up a little bit late last night. I stayed up and watched Harry and the Hendersons. I absolutely love that movie. Uh, John Lithgow, uh, Dom Amici, uh, Melinda Dillon, who's the mother in uh, this movie. She's the mother in E.T. and Close Encounters. And uh, she's in Slapshot. These people are stuck. Tow truck got here to help them. I put uh, some shorts up about this, guys. But this is just a little bit of different footage. This guy driving, the one and only Blackbird. <laughs> That's what the back of his uh, win uh, window says. Yeah, I'm glad they got the tow truck available on the beach. There are guys that will come pull you out for free. Popo's here. Hey, hey, geezer. Hold this for me, Calvin. Just until the cops leave. <laughs> and uh, they got him out guys just that little pop is all it needed a lot of suction but he, he didn't want the trucks to help him and lots of people stopped to help I guess he was worried about damage but that tide's coming in I mean he's still in the water <laughs> I don't know folks folks pro tip do not park in the Gulf of Mexico that's all I can tell you yeah, but I was I was watching uh, Harry and the Hendersons, and then um, I, I I looked uh, this part up. But uh, the guy that plays the Bigfoot monster, his name was uh, I want to say Kevin Peter Hall. He's also the uh, monster in the Predator movies, uh, especially the original one with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's just a big dude, you know. So uh, it was fun. I, I've been struggling trying to get through movies lately. And uh, just stupid Harry and the Hendersons, no problem. A well-spent hour and 51 minutes. I stop it about every 20 minutes and check other things on my phone and go back to it. But it was just uh, hot and humid last night, and uh, I needed a little something to keep me entertained. I got to unhook everything. Yeah, I, I talked to, to the, these two guys on the left there made sure they had water and everything they're just the passengers they uh things weren't going well in the truck they, they they said the driver was getting upset so they went over and sat on the picnic table after a while but man i'm thinking two people plus all the people that were there earlier should have been able to push that out but i'm glad they got out and they'll get on their way so will we head on down the beach and see what else is going on today there you go shut the door Shut the door. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. You can be walking. There it is, guys. The Gulf of Mexico. The sun's been trying to come out all day. I keep checking my app, and it keeps saying two hours from now, two hours from now. I went through the whole day, guys. The sun never came out. It's about as bright as it got, which is uh, okay with me. You know we're coming to uh, Port Aransas. We're going to check out the uh, beach while we're here. Just going a little bit of a drive. See if we see anything unusual. A lot of kites set up by that one group. You can see the beach is pretty wide open today. That's good. Kites are uh, very cool. I just pulled over and took a break. I was watching uh, videos from my friends uh, 
Tracy and Leah Phillips. They uh, went on a little uh, excursion to uh, Rush, Arkansas. Checked out a ghost town and the surrounding uh, areas. Um, yeah, check those out. I'm going to put some links in the descriptions. Uh, good stuff. I really enjoyed it. Just little short uh, nature videos. Little ghost town there that was pretty cool. Guys, I'm going to end this uh, with some quiet time. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.